Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this recent video, a couple of months ago, I showed you how to configure the VLANs on the GWN 7800 series switches. And in that video, I was using the GWN 7062 router and also mentioned that all the VLANs have to be set up on the router side as well, not only on the switch side, so that the two can talk to each other. That video was particularly focused on how to configure the VLANs on those 7800 series switches. Today we're going to get the router configured, but instead of using the GWN7062, I'm going to use the GWN7001 that I did the first look video on last week. So enough said, let's get started. All right, so I am signed into the GWN7001 router. This is the router that we looked at last week. We did a first look video. I'll put a link to that video up above if you want to check that out. We are connected to the internet via my home network. I just have an ethernet cable coming from the network switch into the WAN port of the router. In fact, let me show you how I have things set up here. So let me cut over to the overhead view. And you can see here's the GWN 7001 on top. And this is the, the switch on the bottom is the GWN 7801P. So Coming into the back of the router, I have this black cable. This black cable is coming from my network switch. So it's giving this router internet access. Then this blue cable here is uplinking to the GWN7801. And then this black cable here is just my computer plugged into the switch. So that's how we have things configured for this video. So let me cut back and we'll continue. So let me hop over now to the GWN 7801P and let me come down to switching and then VLANs. And if we take a look in the last video I did, and it's going back a couple months ago where I did the VLAN configuration on the GWN 7800 series, I created the following VLANs. Well, we have the default VLAN, but then I also added VLAN 20 for the guest network and VLAN 30 for, here it says the IoT network, but back in that video I had called this the camera network. Now again, that video was pretty good explanations of how VLANs work and how to configure the VLANs on this switch. So if you missed that video, I would suggest you watch that video first as well. So go, I'll put a link up above, go back and check that video out as well. So we have our default LAN on VLAN 1, we have our guest network on VLAN 20, and we have our camera network, now IoT network on VLAN 30. So we're going to recreate this on the router side. Again, in that last video, I was using the 7062, but let's go ahead and get these VLANs set up on the GWN 7801. So we're going to come down to network settings, and then we're going to click on the LAN settings. You can see all we have right now is the default VLAN 192.168.80.1. So we're going to create VLAN 20 and VLAN 30. And it's pretty simple. We're just going to click on the add button. We're going to give the VLAN ID of 20 and we'll call it guest. So it matches up with what we have going on on the switch. We'll enable VLAN port IP version 4 and then we'll give it the address 192.168.20.1. And the subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0. And we will turn on DHCP service for that subnet. So the range, since this is going to be a guest network, we'll just give it the entire range. We'll go from 20.2 to 20.254. The release time, everything else will leave set as default and we'll, we'll actually give it a preferred DNS server of the router and then we'll give a secondary of Cloudflare. Let's go ahead and click save. Okay, so now we have the guest VLAN created. So let's go ahead and do the same thing for the IoT VLAN. So we'll call this VLAN ID 30, we'll call it IoT. Again, we'll enable VLAN port IP version 4.
will enable DHCP service. And again, because you probably will have a lot of IoT devices on your home network or in your small office, we'll go ahead and give it this full range. But again, either one of these networks, you can set your DHCP range to whatever it works best for you. And then again, we'll give it the preferred DNS server of the router. And the secondary of Cloudflare. And we'll go ahead and we'll click on Save. Okay, so now we have our three networks. We have our main LAN. We have our VLAN on 192.168.20.1 for the guest and we have our VLAN on 192.168.30.1 for the IoT network. If we click over to the VLAN port settings, you can see now that we have our port VLAN ID of 1, and then the allowed VLANs are 1, 20, and 30 on each of the ports on the router. So now that this matches what's on the switch, we should have no problem communicating and passing the necessary traffic. All right, so now that we have everything set up on the router side and it does match what's on the switch side, let me share with you the end goal. So if you look at this diagram on the screen, the goal here is to create a home network with these three networks, the main LAN at 192.168.80.0/24 and then the guest VLAN on VLAN 20 with the subnet of 192.168.20.0/24 and the IoT VLAN at 192.168.30.0/24 and again the end goal is to create this simple home network using all Grandstream gear. So you can see here we have the Grandstream GWN 7001 router and the GWN 7801P PoE switch and then we have the GWN 7660 here in the diagram which we will be adding to the mix in the next video. I will be showing you how to pair the Grandstream GWN 7660 or any GWN access point for that matter to the GWN 7001, whereas we will be using the router as the management for the access points. Again, this router can manage up to 100 GWN access points, so we're going to use it as the master controller for the APs, and I will show you that in the next video. So I hope you found this video useful, and if you'd like to see some more, then click on this video on the screen. Thanks so much for watching.